Hello students, let us discuss reaction of alcohols with phosphorus halides and thionyl chloride. We already discussed this reaction in the chapter Haloalkanes and Haloarenes. That means alcohols are converted into alkyl halides by the reaction with phosphorus halides like PaCl3, PCl5 and also reaction with the thionyl chloride that is SOCl2. So this reaction as we have discussed in the previous chapter of organic in which we have discussed that uh, here the OH group uh, is removed and in the place of that you have to substitute the halogen group. So here there is a cleavage that is a CO cleavage of alcohol so from that it result in the formation of the product that is alkyl halides. Let us talk about the reaction with PX3 that is phosphorus trihalide. PX3 phosphorus trihalide. With the phosphorus trihalide you will get the reaction when it undergoes a reaction you will get the product Rx where R is the alkyl group. Rx that means halo alkane pcl5 in all these cases thionyl chloride we can find out that we are getting a product that is alkyl halide but the side product are different the side product in these cases are in this way that is in the case of px3 the side product which is formed is phosphorus acid in the case of Reaction with PCl5, the side product which is formed here, that is phosphorus oxychloride plus HCl. Phosphorus oxychloride plus HCl. But in the case of thionyl chloride, when you look at here, the side product which is formed here is SO2. That is a gas. HCl, that is also a gas. So this is the most preferred method of preparation of halides from alcohol because the side product which is formed is gases in nature that means these gases can be easily removed from the reaction mixture because of this reason the reaction with thionyl chloride is the most preferred because of the formation of two side product here which are gases in nature which can be easily separated from the reaction mixture. So it is one of the important question also why it is most preferred method. Now from this it is clear that what you need to do here, how you make the product very easily, you have to remove the OH from the alcohol and keep the suitable X here. Now we'll be doing the question on this one. Here are the two alcohols. I told you R not matters here. Whatever the alkyl group, you write in the same, same way. But what you need to do here, in the place of OH, you have to keep Cl. Here in the place of OH, you have to keep Cl because it is thionyl chloride. So which halogen? That is Cl comes here. So when you do this one, you will be getting the product like this. So what is the change in this when you find it out in the place of OH we can see in the place of OH now there is Cl in the place of OH now it is Cl. So it is very easy to make the product when alcohol is given whatever an alcohol uh, you need to change that the OH of that you have to keep Cl in the place of OH. What about the reaction of same alcohol with PBr3 that is phosphorus tribromide. In this case also the product is very easy what we have learned that ROH when it react with PBr3 in the place of OH Br comes because here the halogen is Br so in the place of OH Br comes. So let us make the product for these that is this one so you can see what is the change in this product and in this product because here 
we are doing the reaction with PBr3. So, we have to keep Br here. Here, SOCl2. Therefore, Cl you have to keep up. So, if in the place of PBr3, if PCl3 is used in that place, in the place of Br, it comes Cl. So, depending upon the phosphorus halide, you will be finding out, you will be writing the particle product on the basis of the halogen group which is present in that. So, this is about the reaction that is reaction of alcohol with the phosphorus trihalides, phosphorus pentahalides and the reaction with thionyl chloride.